During our Farm Basics time today, we want to talk a little about soil residual with herbicides, both from a safety aspect and from a weed control standpoint. Well, if you've got a yard or a garden, or if you're a farmer, uh, you understand there are some weed control options out there that you have to get on before the weeds are even up. So you may wonder, well, how do they actually work if I'm putting this product out and the weeds aren't even there? What happens is farmers, or gardeners for that matter, will put herbicides out that can kill either the seed or typically the young seedling. This is great for the farmer or the gardener because then you never even see the weed and the whole point is if you can see weeds well <laughs> then they they they're robbing water and they're robbing nutrients from your crop that's no good so if you have the right pre-emerge herbicide that stops that weed before it ever even gets out of the ground that's a good thing overall for yield what's interesting to me is how selective some of these herbicides are that we would apply to the soil for example, in gardening, one of the real common products used is preen. There's so many different crops you could be raising in your vegetable garden that you could put preen down and stop the weeds, but they don't hurt the crop at all. And there are other products that, hey, you can only use this around watermelons, or you could only use this around celery or something like that. All right, one of the most important things when we start talking about the residual life in the soil of any herbicide is what's the half-life? And right on the label, it will tell you typically how long that half-life is, or at least on the MSDS sheet, the Material Safety Data Sheet. What this means, the half-life is, let's say that I put out one pound, how long does it take for that one pound to be gone? Well, the half-life is going to tell you how long does it take for half of that to be gone. So if let's say the half-life is 21 days, that means if I put one pound out, then 21 days later, I have a half a pound left. Now, that's assuming that we haven't used up a bunch of that with the weeds or used it up with the crop or whatever else. So if it's just literally sitting there in the soil, that's basically how long does it take for bacteria and everything else working in the soil to break it down. So if these soil residual type herbicides, it, it really depends on the soil in terms of how much farmers or gardeners will need to use in order to kill weeds. So if you have a very heavy soil, uh, it may tie up some of that chemical for a little bit longer. If you have a very light, sandy soil, it may be available right now. You get some moisture in the soil and the weeds can completely take it up or the plants completely take it up uh, and, and it disappears a little bit quicker. Uh, so it, it's going to vary and you're gonna to have to look on the label in terms of how much you'd need to apply for various soils. How about carry over into our next crop? Let's say a year from now we're planting another crop that we're not supposed to spray this herbicide on. Is that going to be gone a year from now or not? So you wanna take a look at things like the half-life and also for that matter, uh, just how sensitive is that crop to any remaining residual? Because let's say for example, maybe there's 1% of it left after a year. Is 1% of it enough to damage our crop or is it nothing to worry about? So that's where typically you need to talk to an agronomist in your area who understands your soils, your weather, your cropping rotation, everything else, to maybe give you a little bit better advice. Well, a good example would be preen, back to the, the start here, or for farmers that are raising soybeans, you may know it as Treflan. Uh, that chemistry is really good at controlling grass weeds. So you'd probably be most concerned about planting a grass crop back into that same soil the next year. So say that you're gardening and you're raising a, a variety of different broadleaf type plants, uh, yes, you can use preen around all of those, but then next year you want to plant sweet corn in that area of the garden. Well, that's a grass plant. Uh, so you really have to watch what the rotational restrictions are, how soon you could plant that back following an application of preen. Okay, then let's talk about safety real quick because a lot of people worry that, oh, these herbicides are lasting forever in the soil. No, there are very, very few that will even last into the next year. Only some products we need to think about for many years in advance, but for the most part, a lot of these things are real safe. They're broken down naturally in the environment. They're used up by weeds and the weeds die. And they're also to some degree used up by crops and the crops metabolize them. They break them down, then there's nothing left in the environment. Well, there's certainly herbicides that get used on the soil to control weeds before they come up. It helps improve uh, plant growth. It helps improve yield in different areas of, of gardens and fields. And it can keep those tough weeds from becoming real problems like our weed of the week can often become in areas where it grows. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up later in the show. <music>